Welcome to Spinelli Speaks. That really sounded like welcome to Spinelli Squeaks. <laughs> I figured I'd just leave that one in for you all. Do you ever feel like your life is dictated by your camera battery? Yeah. So, <laughs> I was so excited to do this video. And then my camera battery died. Like literally right after I did my intro. So, needless to say, I have been gone away from this for the last like two hours. I went downstairs and made dinner. We're just about to eat, but this isn't going to be a long one. I, like you saw, did you see? I don't think you saw. I got a subscription box! <laughs> I'm so excited, can you tell? Okay, so I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I asked everybody like, what's a good subscription box? Tell me more. And um, I don't think I got anybody to answer, but that's okay. <laughs> and then I asked my bestie, Laura from Book Bubbler, hey, do you know any good book subscription boxes? And she gave me like a plethora, that's a nice word, plethora of book boxes. And then I was like, nah. <laughs> so I just did some research on my own. And if you know me, you know I only really buy used books. I go to thrift shops and I try. So it was like really hard for me to be like, I'm going to buy a gift box or a sub box for yada yada money. Because I'm like, I used to go to the thrift store and get it for for like 79 cents or 99 cents and like all the other stuff. But I think I found a box that is perfect for me. I'm shouting cause I'm excited. So I, this is not an affiliate link. I am not making any money off of this. I purely just found it online and I was like, heck yeah. So I started following books and treasures on Instagram and I checked them out. Make sure they're the real deal. And I'm pretty sure it's like a mother-daughter um, who have uh, started this. And I don't know that much more, but I'll put links in my description below for you. But booksandtreasures.com and it's a used subscription box. I am really excited. I have not opened it. All I did was make sure I could open it for you guys. But here's my subscription box. I'm gonna go ahead and start opening it up and show you what I have. So inside it says, enjoy your book. And then inside it has a little card and this, I've not looked at any of this. It says your handmade items are from these artisans. So there's a bookmark, um, which is from booksandtreasures.com. So from the subscription box, ooh, there's postcards. Um, and it tells uh, from an Etsy, <gasps> wax melts uh, from the fairy hideout on Etsy. Oh, there's a worry stone. I feel like I'm getting spoilers <laughs> from Dog Stars at Etsy. And I'll put all the links below. And it says, thank you for supporting used bookshops and handmade businesses, Sarah and Rebecca. Oh, that's so nice. <sighs> okay, so here's my box. I'm gonna open up my first layer. Oh, it's all individually wrapped. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. I'm gonna go for the smallest thing first. So like a little gift and it's got the stuff on it. I feel like it's Christmas. Oh my goodness gracious. Ooh, I'm gonna reuse this box. Does anybody do that when you get a box for anything? You're like, oh, I'm gonna put that away. Sad story. Okay, not sad, it's not that sad. When I used to go to birthday parties and we would put stuff in a gift bag, my mom would make me bring the bag back. Like I would have to ask, like, I'm going to need that back. <laughs> so it used to be like tradition for my friends to be like, do you, do you need this back? And I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I do. And if you could keep the tissue paper in there too, that'd be great. 
<laughs> so now I reuse bags, but I don't like, I don't ask for them back. Oh, this is so nice. I wonder if this is the worry stone. So it's a little stone and it says it has a little heart and it has books on it. I wonder because it's like you can put I wonder if that's what that is like so you just hold this and then you can just like rub it because it's perfect for your thumb and you just do that that must be what it is oh I wonder like because I could do this oh. yeah I'd be like when I contemplate things you'd be like let me get my worry stone I like that I like it a lot and I'm gonna end up probably putting it on one of my shelves but I'm definitely gonna use this box again Okay, what's next? What's next? Okay, green. Oh, is there a card in here? Should I look? Should I have looked in the card first? Oh, I think I probably should have looked at the card first. So there's, this must be the book, so I'm not going to open that yet, but there's a card. There's two cards. Okay, so when you were a kid and you open up gifts where your mom was ever like, you need to open the card first totally missed the card okay so i have a card and has my name on it oh ooh, ooh. Ooh, it's a thank you card it says danielle well they don't know <laughs> it's danny <laughs> enjoy your box books and treasures sarah and rebecca and it's handwritten they hand wrote that they hand wrote it that's so nice that's so nice that's sweet and then, oh, these are the postcards. Oh, let's do the postcards next. It says, enjoy your postcards. How do you open this? Oh, it's a sticker. Oh, I don't want to rip it. Oh, it's tape. But still, I'm going to rip it. Oh, no, I can just slide them out. Do you ever guys watch these and you're like, can you just rip it? Oh, okay. Postcard time. Wowza. Meet me in the middle, it says, on the one. Can you see that? Is it backwards for you? This one doesn't say anything. Um, it says, proceeds from this postcard design are donated to cancer research in memory of Milius Moss. Oh, wow. So they're just really pretty. Really pretty art. That's really nice. That'll end up on my shelves, y'all. You know how much I love decorating my shelves. I'm going to wait for the book for last. Back to the green guy. Oh, oh. Okay, here we go. What's in here? I think you get for me. Ooh. Wax melts. Lemongrass soy wax melts from the fairy out. The fairy hideout. I love burning. Oh my gosh. It's almost citrusy. I guess lemongrass is citrusy. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I have a wax burner at work. I think I'm going to take this to work with me. That smells so good. I'm going to take that to work with me. That's going to work. Okay. Ooh, so I've got a big box now. So now I have this big box. I'm go ahead and open this up. More tape, of course. Are you a taper when you put boxes together? Do you make sure they're taped? Oh, it's the mug and the tea. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So when you select these boxes, you pick out like what kind of genre you like to read. And then you pick out um, like if you're a tea, coffee, or um, hot chocolate drinker. And I pick tea. I am a drinker of all things. Cocktails not disincluded. Is disincluded a word? Anywho, but I've been really getting into teas lately, so I wanted to be able to try new teas. 
So it looks like I have a Japanese Sencha. It's a green tea. That sounds good. Harney and Sons, it says. And then a Egyptian chamomile. That one will be ni nice for nighttime because it's no caffeine. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, let's see what my mug looks like. Ooh, it looks fancy. It's a fancy mug. Ooh. And it has bubble wrap in it. Side note, bubble wrap. For all you listeners out there who know me personally, I wore a bubble wrap suit to school one day with my bestie, Megan. If you remember the movie, Dude, Where's My Car? And if you are a follower of Zoltan, you know the bubble wrap suit. Oh my gosh, I have seen these before. My friend, I'm gonna have to call my friend. He's been collecting these mugs. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. He, I think he just posted this on Facebook that he was collecting these kind of cups and that he had almost the whole set. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to see. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. This is so cool. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Okay, it's time for the book. It's time for the book. What do you think I got? I, I listed fantasy or mystery. Oh my god. The bookmark has a spider on it. You guys know if you watch my latest vlog, I had a total issue with the spiders outside. Look, at it has a spider on it. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Oh, so it's one of those wrappy bookmarks. That's awesome. Okay, okay, drum roll please. Whoa. So I got a mystery novel. It's called Harvest, and it's by Tess Gerritsen. Tess Gerritsen. Oh, okay. Well, what is this about? It says, Harvest is a nonstop, terrifying read, and Tess Gerritsen is a f real find. Only a riveting storyteller, <laughs> storyteller, who is also a physician, could have written this book. So it says, in a novel of harrowing suspense and brilliantly crafted plot twists, author Tess Gerritsen draws on her years of experience as a doctor to deliver an explosive thriller that makes her an indisputable star. Harvest vividly portrays a young woman doctor challenging a world where medical miracles and greed fueled a lethal conspiracy and the bright lights of the OR conceal the ultimate corruption of genius. Have you ever seen that movie, Coma? That's like immediately my thought when I'm thinking of this, is that movie, Coma, with Michael Douglas, like, you know, back when he was like 20 years old. That's what this reminds me of. It's not a big one, so I think I'm going to be like totally reading this in September when I do all of my, my thrillery, suspenseful reads. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm so happy. So again, for this subscription box, again, I'm not affiliated. Uh, I, I paid for it with my own monies. Um, it is a used book subscription. So this is a used book right up my alley. I always buy used books. And what you get with it um, for this subscription box, and I want to say that it's $30 plus whatever the shipping is, um, you get your used book. You get um, either the tea, coffee, or hot chocolate. For the book, you pick genres, and you pick, I think, three different categories of genre. So, like, it will be probably mixed up throughout the, the year. And then you get a bookmark that they make. This one has a little spider gem on it, which probably goes along with the mystery. And then um, you get the mug 
or the cup. So this is the cup I got. And um, and then you get a little, like, three to five little trinkets. So for me, I got the little postcards that I got. And then I also got the worry stone, which is a little heart. Oops. Little heart that has books on it. And then I also got the wax melts. So, I mean, I got a ton of stuff. And it's all from, like, small... Um, small businesses. It's used books. They also put, you know, where things come from. And I just love that because if you know me well, you know that I always buy from thrift shops and, uh, and that's just my style. So it wouldn't make sense to get anything, um, different. So I am super pleased. I'm so happy. I can't wait to see what next month brings. So again, if you're going to be looking that up, it is booksandtreasures.com. I'll put all of the links in the description below. And if you're interested, go and check them out. I'm super excited. Yay! So thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed my little unboxing. It was my first ever. I'm super excited. So uh, I hope you uh, stick around for maybe next month when I get another box because I'm already excited. It's like, I can't wait for next month. Until next time, guys, you know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye!